Hi guys, so I wanted to make a really quick video um, on stuff that I am planning on doing this summer, uh, both as a personal reminder of all the stuff that I had planned for myself and also just to share. Um, so the first thing that I always plan to do over the summer is to read because I really don't get the time to read during the academic school year just because um, I don't know, I feel guilty reading for pleasure when I could be studying uh, for my classes. So uh, one of the goals for myself is to read five more books this summer, at least. Um, and I have a couple of them here. The first one is called I Am an Emotional Creature by Eve Ensler, and I've already started reading it. Um, and it's a pretty quick read. It's monologues, just like her other books. and. Uh, pretty interesting. It has monologues and then it has some girl facts that they call girl facts, which she calls girl facts. Um, it's like one of them is when a group of children who were interviewed on 2020 were asked if they'd rather be fat or lose an arm, they unanimously answered that they'd rather lose an arm. The mortality rate associated with anorexia nervo nervosa is 12 times as high as the death rate of all causes of death for females aged 15 to 24. Uh, and those girl facts kind of lead into and give some context for the following monologue. So I kind of want to finish that hopefully this coming week. I only have a little bit left. So Then another book I'm currently reading is In Search of Our Mother's Gardens by Alice Walker. Uh, and I am now about halfway through. And it's a really good book. It's a collection of essays on... Uh, what it means to be a black woman artist, revolutionary artist, um, yeah, and it and an academic also as well. It's very interesting. Um, and then another book that I'm reading, uh, not so much for pleasure, but hopefully it won't be that bad, is this wonderful book called A Manual for Writers of Research Papers, PCCs, and Des Desert. Dissertations. Dissertations. I don't even know how to say the word, but I'm not writing a dissertation, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm starting to work on my senior thesis this summer, so I am part of a program, uh, and this was, in a, this was given to us at our initial meeting. There's a lot of just citation stuff. There's also, like, Learning from your returned paper, writing your final introduction and conclusion, revising your draft. It doesn't look that bad. <laughs> I'm scared. But yeah, I have to get to that. Um, and also for that research paper project is um, this documentary called Harvest of Empire. Uh, the Untold Story of Latinos in America, and it's based on the book by journalist Juan Gonzalez. So the book was checked out of the library, so uh, I'm going to probably buy it in the next week or so, but I wanted to just get a head start and start by watching the documentary. And then another thing I want to do this summer is uh, some language studying, so I took out some books from the library, from my university's library on Tagalog, which I've wanted to learn since high school and um, never really started, but I figure if I have some extra time, why not? So this is Everyday Tagalog, Grammar Conversation Exercises and Vocabulary, and this is Basic Tagalog. And then the other thing I wanted to do was... Right there are my Japanese textbooks, and I want to review Japanese because I haven't studied it in a year, um, and I plan on returning to the language either next year or the year after that, so I feel like I really have to review everything because I forgot a lot of it. And then the other big language goal I have is to just listen to Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese more. Um, not really study it because I don't think I have the time to study it the way I would want to, but just to kind of get more of a sense of the language. So when I do want to study it, it's a little easier. Um, and just to be able to communicate or understand people who speak Brazilian Portuguese, because I think it was really prompted by um, working 
uh, in a, the vaccine, volunteering in the vaccine clinic this past week, and a woman started talking to me in Brazilian Portuguese, and I couldn't respond to her. I, I could only respond to her in English, but I understood what she was saying, and I, it really made me want to be able to speak to anybody who comes up to me and, and wants me to, to, wants me to understand them, basically. Um, so yeah, that's the other language goal, and that's it for languages. I think that is more than enough. <laughs> And then I have other goals that I want to do this summer. Um, one of them being this blog. I want to vlog at least once every week. Uh, hopefully more if I have time. And I also want to write something every day, which is really, really hard for me because I, I tend to think if I need to write something, then I need to write something big and I need to write like an article or a story or something. And I just want to write something, like write like a page or, or a quote or something. Um, every day for the rest of the summer. And along the same lines, I uh, am planning out my third tattoo, which I'm getting uh, back home in Florida um, at the end of the summer, and I'm still trying to design it. So that is something that's getting more and more, that's becoming more and more present because I have to start contacting places to make sure that they have vegan ink uh, and making an appointment and everything, so that'll be more pressing really soon. And I'm trying to think if I have any more. I have like smaller goals as well. I bought a beginner's violin, oh, like a year ago, I think. And I didn't. I just, like played a tiny, tiny bit when I first got it, and then I just never played it, and um, that makes me really sad. So I want to uh, practice a little this summer. And also, I want to learn how to crochet. Uh, I would love to make a scarf and or arm warmers. So, yeah. I don't know. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, my list could really be infinitely long if I allowed it to be, and I try to keep it reasonable, um, even though I know that some of these things... Uh, I might not finish and things I might not accomplish and some of these things I might do but not to the extent that I wanted them to, wanted to do it um, but yeah what do you guys have planned for the summer what do you want to accomplish this summer